Good morning everybody, Specky Bastard here. I'm in H&M, that's H&M in town in Glasgow. I am uh, out shopping, find my little girl some new t-shirts. She's grown very quickly. I've got to say, H&M is really good value for money. They do have a lot of sale items on as well. But with the weather we're getting here in Glasgow, it's not so good. This H&M I'm in in Glasgow actually, um, used to be the old Forever 21 building. Um, it's got three floors, um, kids and gents at the top. I believe it's women who are taking the middle floor and the bottom floor. I think that's a bit of favouritism, is it not? Us guys, if we want clothes from H&M, there's a small section at the top, but it's not a shop I shop in for myself. It's quite a nice building, this. Let's go outside and see what's happening on the street of Glasgow this morning. Shoe 70% off. Don't tempt me. I really am tempted. So we're on Buchanan Street here in Glasgow. This this entrance way here in front of us. That's the entrance to the subway. Takes us around Glasgow, pretty inexpensive. It's a nice view down Buchanan Street this morning. Heart of Glasgow shopping precinct. I am actually on the way to the print shop this morning. Specky Bastard needs to get a few t-shirts made. Thanks for spoiling the video, you and your street sweeper. Thank God that's me away to the street sweeper, but it is pretty noisy in town this morning. And we're just after nine o'clock. I've got to say, the street really is busy this morning. Jungle Rumble Adventures. Let's have a peek in, what kind of place is that? Crazy golf or something like that by the looks of it. Oh, no way. I can't believe that chip shop shut down there. That had been there since I was a little boy. Um, part of the Blue Lagoon chain. We used to say when we were young, if you fancy getting poisoned, go to Blue Lagoon. Pretty cheap and cheerful. If you don't mind quality, you know, Blue Lagoon was the place to go. Um, I wouldn't say they'd the best of best of potatoes um, and I always found a lot of their food really greasy um, in terms of the, the, the oil that we'd hold on to their batter the batter was rubbish as well no disrespect to Blue Lagoon they do have many other chip shops in Glasgow I've not ventured off into town for a long time um, pure and simply 
I wanted to blame it in COVID. Um, I became a bit of a, a shopping, a dysfunctional shopper, so to speak. I'm one of these people who just order online now, whereas I used to used to be the the type of shopper that liked getting into the shops and trying things on and making sure it was right. Oh look, Blue Lagoon has moved. That's where it is now. Christ, did I get up in the world? Nice booths to sit in and what have you. Let's have a look at their menu. That's scandalous. Two pounds for a can of juice. No, I'm not giving them any more promotion. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, this building across here, look at the sign, guys. That was BHS in Glasgow, British Home Stores. Do you remember British Home Stores? What a place that was. That's that big building here. Goes all the way around onto Sucky Hall Street. So yeah. Wow. British home stores. It certainly was a place. They're raving. Just in the distance here guys, the Pavilion Theatre of Glasgow. Seen a few pantos in there over the years. God, this time last year coming up for my birthday. Um, I went to see a football thing, I won't tell you what team it was in regards to, but yes. It's really good. Jay's Barbecue Bar. Yeah, that looks like a, another buffet place. Wow, twenty nine ninety nine per person, fourteen pounds for a child. That is scandalous pricing for buffet food, full of salt and MSG. That's crazy, how could you take a family of four there? You know what I mean, two adults, two children, you're, you know, without even any drinks you're bordering a hundred pounds. That's crazy. Looks a nice little Indian place. The Bay Horse Live Cabaret. I imagine that pub on a Saturday afternoon to be absolutely heaving. We're party animals. <laughs> so yes, just up here over in the right hand side, I think is where the print shop is. Definitely going to give them a little shout out, that's for sure. Let's get across this road. Howling Wolf, that used to be Monkey Bar 20 years ago. I wonder what it's like now. Some noodle place. Taylor Ferguson hairdressing, that's been there for many years. A lot of celebrities and famous people would go to Taylor Ferguson. Apex Hotel. It's a hotel I've never stayed in in Glasgow, to be honest. I don't seem to be able to find this print shop. It's supposed to be here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and find this print shop. You just have a fantastic weekend. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Speak to you soon.
Bye-bye.